Hey guys, Magic here. I just want to point out one little thing just before the video officially starts. I explain this concept and the actual design for about 8 minutes. So if you wanted to jump straight into the building of it because you've, I don't know, because you don't really care about how it works or something or you're not interested or you've seen it before, the timestamp is going to be about 8.50. So if you jump straight ahead to 8.50 you'll skip all the explanation and we'll just get straight into building I do a lot of explanation in the building anyway so I just wanted to get that out there and apparently 1108313 apparently I can't read numbers out so yeah just thought I'd get that out there and it's probably going to be longer than that now because I've done this intro so about 9 minutes you should be into the building phase so I'll see you then Alright guys and welcome back to a new video. And today I want to show you my automatic chicken farm. Now I hope these guys aren't too loud. I know that they uh, cause quite a lot of sound at the moment. I have got the sound completely down so I can't really do much about it. Let's just get rid of this really quickly. So first thing to mention about this, the insides it are five long by seven so it goes five this way and seven this way and that's that seventh block is just literally like this thing so if there was a way to minimize that without interfering with that it'd be five by six so this is a like I said completely automatic so these get automatically refilled and I will show you the functionality of it in a second so this is the on and off switch for it this is like it, if you don't, if you want it down, if it's down, then no eggs will get collected and they'll stay there. But um, at the moment, if I turn this on, they they'll still stay there because it's full. So if I just start this up, it should start to empty pretty soon. So as you can see, it'll go all the way around. And what it's doing is, if I can get in here without interrupting it. Look at these, watch these now. It should, when it goes past, it'll take one out. Did you see that then? I'll let it go again. And it's auto refilling because there's quite a lot of eggs in there at the moment. So, because I've been letting this go to show you how it'd work. So, that's going to auto refill now. And what it's doing is, it's taking them up. If I can get a hand on this thing, I'll show you what it's doing. Oh, close. Right, there you go. So, as you can see watch it gets an egg from down there and it puts it into this hopper and this hopper will take it straight into this dispenser and as soon as this dispenser as soon as he goes over this detector rail this get, it gets shot out so it's basically one full round get the egg put the egg shoot the egg and then to save the egg from um, hitting this and then it getting stuck in the glass block and it coming out I've just put a sign on there so uh, it hits the. As you, well, I'll see if you can see it in a second. Um, it hits the sign instead of hitting this glass. So that's that's basically the functionality of it. Um, if you if we go down here, there's a way to change it from basically on mode to like collect egg mode. And all I've done here is stack chests. And you could do this and you could just have them like hidden basically until you wanted to change it into chest mode and then all you'd have to do is you press this button here and they'll float up. Now I will tell you that there's probably going to be a few at the bottom stuck in this uh, in the hopper there because there's a hopper right there to collect the eggs. Um, if it does then the first time that you do this it shouldn't do it. Um, they're taking damage from the eggs by the way, they're not actually taking damage so if we do this, yeah there you go so if we kill these off oh, I'm failing at this So all you've got to do, just get these out of the way in a second, all you've got to do to change it over to that egg mode is that. And now, 
all of the eggs will start going in here. You can't open that one though. Don't know even why I tried. And they will all get filtered down to here. And from now on, that's when you've got that there. So if I show you this again, let me just go and take, replace this um, dropper. All these chickens are messing up this um, system actually. Right, is there any more here? No. Okay, right, so this is top and running again now. And I'll show you what I mean about you can do it and then if we do it again, there won't be any down here while they just glitch through. Or I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they were in the. Yeah, oh, I know. Okay, well they were in that dispenser and then they got put into the dropper. That's what happened to them. It's just the first time they'll uh, glitch out, but as soon as you've sorted them from glitching, they shouldn't anymore. So, that's the functionality, and like I said, it's 5x7. And then on, off. Very simple. So, what this form will basically do, it won't cook any of the chickens or anything like that, it's literally just to form the chickens. So, if we. How can I show you this? I know how I can show you. If this chicken would get out of the way, let me stop that. Right. So, if I get a lava bucket, I'm going to kill all these chickens now and give you a practical example. Right, so there's none in there now, yeah? Okay, let me get all of this crap off the track because it'll interfere. So, there's none in there, and now we are going to. No, actually, what we'll do is we'll do it the normal way that you'd do it. You'd probably come up top and you'd throw until you get one chicken. That's all you need to start this off, and that's the reason why we have the fence, not the fence, the um, the sign in that front of that dispenser, because otherwise they go straight through. Right, okay. Let's try it at the, uh, the wall. There we go, so he's in there now. So, hypothetically this will all be closed off, but what we are going to do, well, how can I... Right, so that's all closed off, there's one chicken in there. This guy would get, be going, he wouldn't be able to pick anything up, I don't think there's anything still in here, is there? Okay, so say that this chicken's fully grown now and he's started to lay eggs, and then the eggs have come down into this. This is the functionality of it, so you start with one egg, one chicken. Pretend he's fully grown and he's started to lay eggs now. And then you've got two chickens. And then, once he grows up, he'll still be laying eggs. And then, once he grows up, he'll be laying eggs. And it's basically just an infinite loop. So you've got to be careful with this because it can get out of control very, very fast. As you can see from 16 eggs there, we just got three chickens. So it can get out of control fast. But as long as you keep an eye on it and as long as you kill some of the chickens, you should be fine. Now with this one. I've put that there because for if you want to change it out, but if you don't want to change it out, or even if you do want to change it out, what you can do is because you've still got access to this dispenser, you can actually change it from it for a lava bucket. And say if there's too many in there or something, just kill them off. Now, there's probably ways to turn it into a automatic cooker and things like that, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're gonna get so many out of this. Like if if you just leave this on in your place, if it's always loaded, it'll you'll end up with hundreds and hundreds of chickens uh, without having to do anything. So that's the functionality uh, in more detail, and I will get to building it now. So the first thing that you're gonna start out with is a seven by five, three, four, five, six, seven. So 
7 by 5 area and the center of this will be the place that you want the light to see the chicken so the chickens will be sitting right there so make sure that you you put this the front of this in a place that you want it to be okay so just for argument's sake let's just say that it's a 8 by 5 because you do have to have the hopper and everything here with the chickens in so just so nobody gets annoyed about that let's say it's 8 by 5 okay so what you want to going to do next is do exactly what I've done here you go from the back you, you count one from here and then you go one two three four and then you dig up delete that you basically want diagonal um, you only need these one blocks and I believe that you will need the blocks underneath so it's pretty essential that you delete the ones underneath take up three so as you can see you've got one two three and then we bring it in one and then you just want to set tracks on here bend you one for that and there we go nope wrong there we go okay so I've, I've just put myself in survival so I can show you how you would do it if you were building it in survival so we go to the middle then we go so the, not counting the middle we go one out from the middle then two then three then we put a power then we put a normal so we bend round then we put a detector power then temporary block hopper damn it well I'll put the hopper there in a second pretend that's the hopper and then a power and right here you'll have a normal track let me just go and get the hopper all right so I've got the hopper so you're just gonna delete this one oh that broke that put that back and then you're gonna hold because otherwise you'd interact with this so what you want to do is you want to hold shift and press down so as you can see you basically got your track and it'll come up here it'll be able to dispense things in there it'll hit this when this is powered there'll be a block right there and it'll bounce back so let's move on to the next block okay so I'm sorry about that I um, I was misinformed I, I put a wall block there just a second ago but you really want the dispenser because this is where the eggs are gonna go so you want to put your power track on there again you want to hold shift again to be able to place it on there otherwise you would just do this you just interact with it so you don't want to be doing that you want to hold shift okay okay so something that I've just noticed that I did wrong here which you're gonna have to make sure that you don't do wrong that's why I'm leaving it in because it's an easy mistake to make you see this hopper right here that is not pointing into that dispenser it's pointing into the wall block for example if I put that there it's not dispensing it into that because it's not pointing to that therefore what we need to do is to is it an axe that you use for these I don't remember maybe it's a pickaxe yeah it's a pickaxe okay so what you want to do is you want to basically just hold shift again and you want to right click and now if we go down here you should see that it's it's now pointing in there so if I put something in there it put it straight in here so I just wanted to let you know about that so now we need a power and a normal holding shift again so what we want to do now is we want to remove this block here that this was basically sitting on and we want to find our detector rail which is here and you're just going to basically make a make a pillar basically and then delete the middle block so you're able to there's your detector block space block and you want to put redstone on your, that block then you want a capacitor not a capacitor a comparator and then you basically want to do that and then build two up then take out the bottom one and then put a redstone on there and a red uh, block there so you want a redstone comparator 
block with redstone, that redstone is going to point into that block, activating that. So that's what's going to trigger your dispenser. Alrighty, so we're pretty much nearly done now. All we need to do is find this this um, detector rail again, and what we want to do is we want to go off this one, go off this line, go down two, point it into a block. And you want to put a redstone torch and just do some temporary pillowing for the time being. Put that there and another t and another redstone torch, it'll flash on and off. So basically what this is doing, I'll explain what this is doing right now. Minecart comes up here, goes all around here, and then hits the block that's going to be here. And then it comes back down, it hits this. And what this is doing is it feeds down to there, into that torch and then turns this torch on and it just flickers for a moment when that went over and it allows it to pass this way through so that's what that's for and like I said before this one is to activate the dispenser okay so it's very simple what you need to do now you need to get yourself some more normal rails to go around the corner then some more powered a few of these powered might not be needed but personally I just use them just in case so now what we want to do is we want to get a dropper and we basically want to I think I've put this in the wrong place right either that or I've built it a little bit off so you want a detector rail there and then you want your dropper that's not a dropper you want your dropper there so, oh no, okay, never mind, I haven't built it off, I just did it one down too low. So, basically, as you can see now, you've, you've pretty much, you can start to see this, the shape of it. Comes around here, it gets an egg from here, comes all the way around, up here, pretends I'm on a minecart. I go up here, I drop one off in there, I rebound, I come around there, I activate that, and then I come around here, get another egg, come around again, so on and so forth so now what you want to do is you want to put your hopper there and this dispenser is for your eggs so let me just for the purpose of the video go into creative mode and get a sign I should use that search function more often so the reason that I've, I said this earlier but the reason that you want a sign here is because otherwise when you use because you'd probably want to use glass just to see them in there but if you use glass there's a chance that because it's a transparent block they can get stuck in there so if you use this it'll actually hatch on the sign and it won't ever really re reach the glass it might do on rare occasions but it's doubtful so now very simple just go back into survival and build this up and there we just you just saw the block that the cart's gonna rebound off of. So it's gonna come via rebound off that and then come down here. Pretty much all we've got to do now is put the glass in, which I can get from here. And then turn all of these tracks on. So I'll show you how I turn them on without without like disrupting anything. The main thing that you're going to want is levers, you don't want to use redstone torches anywhere because, well, they, it could interfere with the, the wire basically. So what I did was, for these lines I did it in the middle, no I didn't, definitely didn't do that. Okay, let's just go and check what I did actually, I thought I did it in the middle. Oh, the very bottom, okay. So. Ah, uh, okay, because this comparator's there. So you put that there, and then I believe I've dug that out. Put that there. Dug this one out, just the same. These can be permanently powered, just so you know. Now that can go there. You can go here. Now this one's a little... Oh, hello. I did not mean to break that. I thought I was in survival. Right, so this one's a little bit different. No, I think it's, no, yeah, this one that's different. I basically placed a block on there, you get the hitbox up, and place it on the side and use a lever. 
so I've powered that one for this one I just went up another one and powered it from there and then this one can simply be powered how can this one be simply powered I know what we can do we can put that one there and then come off here and put that there let's just make this symmetrical and take you off there what you done? just for symmetry reasons so this is pretty much working now that's all you've got to do so if we get a chicken in there I'll show you how it works that did not click I, they still haven't properly fixed the clicking issues so. so he's in there now let's pretend that he's been laying some eggs eggs let's just do it that way and I obviously just broke that lever so if we go down here and we just throw these in so pretend that he's just laid all of those eggs even though we know that he hasn't and then we get ourselves one of these carts drop a cart this should be up and running right now and then you can all of the, the design and everything you can choose what you want to do so to start it off I'd personally say start it up from here and it should just start going and we have left off now there is one optional thing that I will tell you and that's the water let me just stop here so let's let's tackle the water now this is completely optional and right okay so all you've got to do for the water very simple get a dispenser get a water bucket make sure you place the dispenser on a on a oh, on a sideways angle so that you can so that you can basically just um, shoot it into there and then all you've got to do is you can either if you do another wall over here then you can put your button on there or you could just put it straight on to your dispenser depending on how you've got it and then click and click so that's pretty much it for the dispenser and then for this all you've got to do is when they are in there as long as you've you've cleared the ones that are like down here that have like glitched out for the time being what you've got to do for the chests I imagine that you'd already know but just for clarification just put the put the chests where the uh, dropper was so you don't need to use it as a as like the automatic thing you can just have loads of chickens in there and have them automatically coming down but that would sort of defeat the objective of all of this you could just have this simple setup without any of this track or anything behind if, if you wanted to do that but it's a nice way to swap and change it so let's finish this up a little bit and even though it doesn't look brilliant at the moment you can do whatever you want with it aesthetically but it works is the main part just want to show you it one more time working spawn chicken to get ourselves one of these minecarts to make the minecart with hoppers all you need to do is put a minecart over the top of a hopper the same you would with a cart uh, a minecart with chest even sorry so if we put you in oh sorry my bad for doing that actually so he's in there pretend he's laid all of these eggs again even though we know that he hasn't does not matter. Right, okay, so he's in there now. He's laid all of those eggs hypothetically. And there we go. Let's just make sure that we can get a chicken out of this. Wow, that was already in there. Okay, so we need to clear that half round. Make sure that you do clear the half round now and again though. From eggs and everything just so you don't get a backlog of if you've got like a thousand chickens in there, make sure that you've got some sort of overflow. 
Well, you can see it's shooting out the eggs anyway, you don't need to wait for it to spawn a chicken to realise that it's shooting out the eggs, so I want to get away from that sound. And I hope this helped any of you, and oh, there you go. So I hope that this helped you, and if it did, then leave a rating down below, or leave a comment, or leave any suggestion of how to improve this. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty compact. I don't think you can get it much more compact. Now, there is one thing that I did want to mention. And that is that you can use water for like for transporting the eggs upwards and everything and the chickens. You can, yes. But it's a lot more laggy. Like if you use if you I said laggy then by the way, I don't know if I enunciated properly. But mobs in water are very laggy. This way you don't have to use any water. I mean this that's completely optional. And you only use that when you want to use it like when you want to change it out or something it's not like they're in the water constantly so yes you can use water um, there's no point suggesting that to me because I already know about that I just personally would prefer to use a, a proper way instead of using water where it's not secure and that's he's glitching now he's not actually there the hoppers are still a little bit glitchy uh, as you can see I'm in 13w03a at the moment but this I'm pretty sure will still work in 1.5 and that's why I've called it 1.5 chicken flow so like I said I hope, this in, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped you thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time ok so one thing that I did completely and utterly forget to mention is this on and off switch and it's very very simple actually so this is basically I'll show you if we throw that in there it's currently on, it just sucked it off. That's off. It no longer sucks them up. I can just break this and I'll show you what I mean. No longer sucks things up and then on it'll start sucking things up again. And it's one of the simplest on and off switches that's ever been created. It's literally just a lever and a block that can transmit redstone. And basically because hoppers are now activated by redstone you can put that there and put a lever there and that will turn it off you just need it I think you can actually put it straight onto the okay no you can't but you could put it there you could put it there you could also put it there as long as it's gonna give power to that hopper I wouldn't put it there because it's gonna activate the dispenser but you could put it there and it'll stop it so like I said thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Okay, final final note this time, I promise I'm going after this, this is getting a very lengthy tutorial. So one thing that I would definitely, definitely recommend for this, because you're activating like redstone fairly quickly, like it's going off and on, I would recommend putting torches pretty much, keeping a constant light source because the change in the, the update of the, the light can cause a lot of lag, so I don't want you guys to suffer lag from this machine it should be a fairly unlag like producer as long as you keep the entities under about 200 to 300 they should be fine chickens don't cause a lot of lag so 200, and three, 200 to 300 of, of them should be fine I'm having a hard word saying words apparently so I just I don't know just go a bit silly with the torches you just put them in places that you might not think that you need them but it will I promise you it will help you with if you're getting any frame rate drops or anything from this it's because otherwise if these aren't here when this is going off and on and everything it's causing light updates which is causing lag so I just didn't want to leave that out guys so thank you for watching like I said leave any rating or anything that you want to leave leave any comment that you want to leave leave any suggestion to make this better one thing that I have realized since doing this actually is if we stop this guy I did say I was going just didn't I if we just do this did I, not, I didn't just turn that on because I was shifting right okay so one thing I've realized with this is I can actually do this guy here so this is a little tip for the people who stay to the end of the video if I do something along the lines of this I wasn't even planning on doing this so I don't really know how I did it but I know I can I know there is a way for me 
to basically cut this off. There's a you can fit two redstone torches in there somehow. I'm pretty sure you could do it like this. Maybe put a block there. Like that. And that would work. So now when this goes over it, it turns it and we've just shaved one of these sides off. And you you could obviously just power this from a different angle, maybe even above or something like that. And it'd still work. So there's there's loads of ways to improve this. This was a very uh, quick design on my end and it's pretty compact so I'm, I'm actually going to be able to say that it is 7x5 because I, just, I was just able to shave that one off there so just again guys all you've got to do is point the redstone into a block to here then a block over that and then point it up to there so I just had that thought when I was watching the video back that I didn't really need to bring it all the way out here for just that extra one so as I said before, thanks for watching and please do leave any comments because it makes it all worth it if people are like interacting with you and everything. So thanks again guys and I'll see you in the next one.